Hey everybody, it's Jake from wildacademy.com and welcome to day 25 of learning to program in Ruby. Today we're going to be talking about one-liners. So let's go ahead and get started with our first if statement. So what we're going to write is if 4 is less than 12, then we shall puts that is correct. Okay, let's go ahead and save the file, save it as oneliners.rb. Then let's bring it in to the command prompt with Ruby. Got to slow down a little bit, slow down, and put it in. Okay, now hit enter, that is correct. So, you can see here that we have three lines. We have the if, statement and then our puts and then the end and we want to make this all onto one singular sexy line how do we do that we're going to reverse it so we're going to write puts that is correct and then we come out here and we're going to write if four is less than 12. okay now what's great about this is that we do not need to put the end statement because it's all within one line. So go ahead and save that. Come back into your command prompt. Go ahead and hit up. And it says that is correct. That is correct. It's We've left the first one in and we've also left the second one in. Now let's make this incorrect. We're going to come in here and we're going to make this 40. And we're going to hit save. And then we're going to hit up enter. That is correct. It's just calling out this first one, but it's not doing anything because this is not true. So let's come down here and move on to the next item. So let's move on to the unless statement. So what we're going to write is puts I like cheese exclamation. I love it unless 40 or uh, let's do 50 is less than 20 and we will go ahead and save the file bring it in hit up that is correct for this first one the second one is not correct so we didn't put anything then the third one puts i like cheese unless 50 is less than 20. so since 50 is not less than 20 we put the i like cheese and again we can come in here change this to five hit save come back in here hit up and it's just giving us that is correct for the first one because the only one that's the only one that's true the next thing we're going to cover is our if else statements we want to take our long if else, you know, if 40 is less than 12, then do this, else do this. And we want to make that one line. So what do I mean by that? So, and, and what this is called, this is called a ternary conditional expression. I'll just type that out, ternary conditional expression, conditional expression. And that is telling us that it's threes. It's a it's an item of three. So the way we've been taught is the multi-line of writing this. So I'm going to quickly write it out the if else statement just to kind of show you uh, to give you an example. So we're going to write if five that four is less than twenty puts yes. Yes, it is. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, it is. There. I don't want to put a question mark in because it might confuse you for the next the next thing we cover. Okay. Puts yes, it is. Else. Here's the else part. No, it isn't. No, it is not. There we go. And then our end statement. Look at all this code down here. Let's clean this up. Be gone with you. All right. So we're going to save this, bring it back in here, up, hit enter. And ternary conditional expression needs to be um, 
noted out, there we go, with our hashtag, control S, there we go, ah, it's early. All right, that is correct, I like cheese, and yes it is, if four is less than 20, puts yes it is, else no it is not. So come back in here to just show you, again, an example, if 40 is less than 20, puts blah 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 blah, save, come back in here, hit up, um, I like cheese. Else, no, it is not. Oh, right here, we got to put that puts. No, it is not. Hit save. Hopefully, you caught that before because then you paid attention in the last lessons. That is correct. I like cheese. And no, it is not. Well, let's come back in here and we're going to write this as a one liner. And how do we do that? Well, this is what the ternary conditional expression is. So, this is how it goes down. Write puts. And now we're going to write our 40 is less than 20. 40 is less than, well, we want to do it, we want to make it true for first. So let's do this the other way around. If 40 is less than 200, okay, we're going to write a question mark right there. And then we're going to write our statements. Now, how this works is that the true is, if it's true, it's going to write the first statement you write. So we'll write, yes, it is. And then we're going to write a colon. And this is going to result if it's false. This will be the second statement. No, it is not. Oh, don't forget your quotations. No, it is not. No, it is not. Let's scream it. There we go. All right, so this is the three part. First, we want to get this. Let's test this Boolean. And then we're going to check, we're going to check it, and we're going to write this if it's true, and the second item we're going to write if it's false. Let's stream this one too. So we're going to save it, hit up, hit enter, and this is, this is the last thing. Yes, it is. So you see that that, so instead of doing this with four lines, if puts else end again we don't need an end on this if it's all within one line we did the the yes it is because this resulted as true so again you need that question to tell you um, to tell you um, to, to question this you know is this going to be true or false and then that space there write this if it's true write this if it's false and don't forget that colon right there not a semicolon a colon Let's make this false. Make that 400. Hit save. Come back in here. Hit up. And it's going to write, no, it is not. So do you see how it resulted in the second one? Great. I think that's really clear. Hey everybody, it's Jake again, and congratulations for making it to day 25. That is super awesome. I'm proud of every single one of you for making it this far. So let's talk about the value that you've gained. You've had a full month of training on programming. How valuable is that to you? I have people email me all the time and, and uh, through Hangouts, they'll, they'll even chat or write in the comments, are you making another tutorial? And yes, I would love to make two tutorials a day, but I need producers. I need your help. You can go to YouTube, to the main YouTube homepage, and you can click here to become a producer of the show. By doing that, you can it'll, it'll take out $10. After that, it'll, you'll be producing the show for $10 a month. If you would like to continue to help support this channel and growing all of these. So a lot of people, they want to be doing this, right? But they don't have time. They have a really important job, tons and tons of other priorities. I totally get that. I completely understand that. You can help promote this type of education by becoming a producer of the show. If you're just going to be doing these Ruby tutorials and you're getting your, your value out of that, and then you're, you don't really care about anything else after that, just be a producer for one month. That's 10 bucks. 10 bucks. People pay $80 for a textbook. You've had over three hours of video. And how valuable is that to you? Is it worth $10? $10, what do you, can you get? That's one movie or two lattes. That's two Starbucks drinks. I know that these tutorials have been worth way more than that to you. But I need your help. I need you. And I know you're going to. I know you're going to do the right thing. 
And so I'm making this a little easier. You can actually just go to the, vo the bottom of the video, this video here that you're watching, and you can just uh, click on the description and you can become a producer that way. Click that, it'll take you here. Now, if you don't have a PayPal account, that's fine. You can just pay with a debit or credit card. Just click that right there and that'll send $10. And that's karma, right? I gave you something and I gave you something for free and on the notion that you would do the right thing. And I think you will do the right thing and you'll help at least be a producer of the show for one month. And mad good karma will come your way. Just watch. Watch how successful you are. Watch all the good things that come to you. And um, I'd love to hear them. I'd love you to email me and tell me, hey, this happened and I'm pretty sure pretty sure there's no scientific proof for it, but I'm pretty sure it had something to do with helping out and supporting the show. And you'll just feel better about it. You'll feel better about um, giving value where value was given. And so please do the right thing. Please help. Uh, please become a producer of the of Wild Academy for just one month to pay back for the month's worth of lessons. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in day 26. Have a good one, guys. And thank you so much.